Hey guys, hope you're well and welcome to this commission showcase video. We've got some custom custodian guard for you to have a look at today. Really cool models. Uh, we're back in a second to have a look at more detail. But if you're new to the Siege Studios YouTube channel, then Siege Studios is a UK based premium commission miniature painting service with 28 members of staff who all paint uh, four levels starting at bronze, which is an above tabletop minimum standard, all the way up to platinum, which is our competition entry quality. Uh, if you are interested in a commission or, qu or quote from us, then all you need to do very simply is description of this video there's a link where it says get a quote click on that link it takes you directly to the seed studios contact form select the drop down options from those available that are relevant for your project and in the message section include a list of models in our model list format which can also be found on that contact form and explained on there once you fire that off to us we'll come back to you with a quote and get the process started we're back in a second to have a look at these awesome custom custodian guard in more detail see you guys back in a second So let's dive in, have a look at these custom custodian guards. They've been completed by Amy, one of the artists here at Siege. She had a really good time working on these. Uh, she has completed a similar sort of project before in the past, some kind of frosty ice kind of themed custodians. Uh, so you'll be able to see a link to those in the description of this video also. Uh, but we'll pull them forward just so you can have a look. Really lovely, lovely finish that's been done on these. Uh, you've got a lot of interest on the models, obviously, from the get-go with all the sculpted armor, plus obviously all the extra details. But you can see, obviously, these have got this lovely frosty kind of effect on an ice world. You've got these frost blades with that lovely sheen, as you can see there on that uh, halberd as it moves in the light. Moving around, you've got this lovely purplish tinge to the armour as well, with lovely subtle highlighting. All the blue gems that are done on there as well, and bluish purplish tinge on the armour. And also the glowing blue eyes as well, that very cold, menacing kind of look as well, which is really lovely. So that's just the first one. Pull forward the dude with a shield and sword, and you can see that lovely frost effect on that blade as well, which is really nice. As it moves in the light, it's got that lovely sheen to it as well, which is really, really cool. Uh, all all the gems and everything there as you can see fully painted with point of light source and multiple blended highlighting uh, and a lovely pristine super clean finish on these as well a lovely sort of uh, lavender kind of purplish tone to the armor panel inner sections as well which is really cool uh, so that's just this dude here we've got what i would like to think as the unit leader uh, just because by his pose and that he's got a cape but you've got obviously the same consistency and finish on this chap as well lovely lovely super sort of sublime kind of clean finish on these as well so that's just the uh, sort of unit leader another chap with a sword and shield here just bounding forward ready to give someone a very bad day uh, so that's just him again you've got a lovely sheen on the weapons here with that frosty kind of effect uh, on the swords or weapons and then we have the final one with a halberd as well really lovely really cool pose that amy's put this model in and also a good finish as well as you can see the consistency from model to model uh, and that's one thing you can guarantee with us here at siege you will get consistency from model to model from unit to unit so you can create a large force and mix all the models up without any reservations at all whatsoever about things matching uh, and that's these guys in a nutshell. We're back in a second to have a look at them again, just really quickly as a recap, and also find out a bit more about how to take a commission without us here at Siege. See you guys back in a second. Thanks for checking the video out, guys. I really appreciate it. And I do hope you like these custom custodian guard that Amy has had the pleasure of working on. Some really cool models, uh, loads of detail on them, as I'm sure you know. And uh, some really, really interesting things that she's done with the weapons and also the armor tinge as well and the color of them. Uh, so if you are interested in commission with us here at Siege, very simply, all you need to do is head to the, our website, which is linked in the description of this video. If you click on the link next to get a quote, what that will take you through to is our contact form. On that contact form, select the drop down options that are relevant for you for your project from those available. And then in the message, section include a list of models in our model list format which is shown on that contact form as well once you fire that off to us we'll come back to you with a quote and get the process started thank you for watching the video guys do give us a subscribe and also a thumbs up on the video and if you like custodian guard drop us some comments below we'd love to hear what you think of these and also custodians in general and finally all the links to our social media so instagram twitter and facebook can be found in the description as well if you can give us a like and follow respectively on those you can keep up to date with everything that we do here uh, at Siege. So I do hope to see you guys in the next video. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye. I want to make sure that you guys have an accessible way to get hold of skills and new techniques and develop yourselves as painters. And that's it really guys. So thank you very much and we hope you'll, uh, you'll join us on Patreon.